In the Pacific Ocean, killer whales are at the top of the food chain, preying on seals, sea lions, even sharks. But one Pacific orca species is on the brink of extinction. Whale researchers say the endangered southern resident orcas that live in and around the Puget Sound face three main challenges, pollution, underwater noise, and food supply. The southern resident orcas have a much smaller range than other killer whales, and they have a much more specific diet. Unlike the orcas that swim farther down the coast and farther up the coast, the mainstay of the food supply of the southern resident orcas is Chinook salmon. But Chinook numbers have plummeted, and whale advocates say the key to keeping the southern residents from going extinct lies in the clear, cool water of Idaho's mountains. If we want the killer whales to survive, we have to return salmon to their headwaters in Idaho. Chiara D'Angelo Patricio is the Pacific Coast organizer of the Endangered Species Coalition. She says the lack of salmon inhibits orca's ability to reproduce, putting the southern residents in what she calls a fertility crisis. And we know when a species has a fertility crisis, a crisis with reproduction, that puts them on the edge of extinction. Whale advocates are largely responsible for a renewed conversation about breaching four dams on the Lower Snake River in Washington. And when they heard Congressman Mike Simpson speak at a forum on the salmon crisis, they say they found new hope. Simpson told the story of a trip to the Stanley Basin where he and his staff witnessed a single female Chinook laying her eggs in Marsh Creek before dying. Part of a natural cycle the congressman attributes to a power beyond nature. These are most, the most incredible creatures I think that God's created. It's a cycle that God created. We shouldn't mess with it. Congressman Simpson has been talking to people throughout the Northwest and in Washington, D.C. about the salmon crisis, and he says he's determined to do what he can to solve it. I've come to the conclusion that I'm going to stay alive long enough to see salmon returned in healthy populations in Idaho. Those comments moved the crowd at BSU to applause, and they moved whale lovers to believe there is hope for the orcas. When he talked about the salmon as a as a species of God, as a species of, um, of his God, that he, in his lifetime he's going to see those salmon recover. That's a commitment that I actually believe. While Simpson says removing the dams is a real possibility, he says nobody should jump to any conclusions just yet. All they've heard from the reports of, of uh, my speech was Simpson wants dams out, you know. And that's not what my speech was about. My speech was about both the Bonneville Power Administration and saving salmon. Simpson says saving a financially troubled BPA and bringing salmon back raises many difficult questions. And he wants to know how removing dams would impact beneficiaries, like grain growers who use barges to ship their goods through the system. And he says salmon migration is just part of the equation. Fishing in the, in the uh, Pacific Ocean, uh, predator control, water quality, all of those kind of things have to be dealt with if you're going to bring salmon back, I think. The congressman admits that restoring salmon is a difficult challenge that will take unprecedented collaboration among Northwest interests, and D'Angelo Patricio agrees. We have to work together to build a bridge, an unlikely alliance. Steve Liebenthal, Six on Your Side.